How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today we're looking at my list of must-have Linux programs and I've looked at some other videos and you know websites listing off must-have programs and look I'm just gonna skip all you know I'm not gonna do some obvious stuff like you should have a web browser like bruh but I'm just gonna be looking at not only like must-have programs but programs that I think are the like the best Linux programs like Programs that you can usually can download on Windows, but it just it just works phenomenally with Linux. So let's get into it. So first of all, a terminal emulator. And usually on any system you have, you already have some terminal emulator installed. However, I'm not specifically vouching for any part, like any specific terminal or whatever. You know, I use ST, but it really doesn't matter. They all kind of do the same thing. Like I just, I don't know, it's just what I chose. However, the reason for using a terminal emulator in your daily, you know, Linux usage or whatever, is essentially that the terminal is extremely powerful. When you start to learn, you know, the commands and different things that you can do manipulation uh, with the terminal, you're going to realize like, whoa, even just like, you know, people will have a file browser. Why? Like LS, you can just see everything that's on your computer. You can change directories. You can, you can do everything. And usually you can do stuff like a lot quicker. Like let's say you had a lot of MP4 files on your you know, drive or whatever. You can do move, select, you know, wildstar.mp4. This will select all the mp4s and then you can move it into some folder, whatever. And there's a whole bunch of different like little tricks and efficiencies that just make it way faster to use than an actual file browser because it's just, you know, it's just perfect. It's just perfect how it's designed. If you want to see some of the capabilities of the Linux terminal, you can go check out some of my other videos. I'll have like a card, you know, linked up like saying, you know, some videos but there's a lot to learn. You know, even me, like, I don't know everything. Like, I'm sure there's a whole bunch of stuff that I can improve my efficiency on uh, with the terminal. So it's always something there there is to learn to increase your efficiency. But yeah, just use a terminal over other, you know, random things like a file browser or, you know, all that kind of stuff. Like, there's no need. Like, the terminal, you can just do everything. In it. The next program is Vim. Put it simply, Vim is just OP. You know, I'll say, you know, any command line editor, if you prefer Emacs, go use Emacs. But Vim, in my opinion, is just, again, it's just perfect. And I'm still like trash. Like I've barely, I've not really, I haven't even done the entirety of Vim 2. I just kind of like learned a bit and then went. But Vim, so right now I'm using NeoVim, but essentially it's the same thing, like you know, with minor changes. But if you don't know Vim, it's a text editor. You can just edit text. I've already made a couple of videos on this as well. However, essentially, it's the, the point of it is that you don't have to use your mouse and the mouse. It just like, you know, let's say you're writing something and then, oh, I need to go move here. Now, nah, like everything you can just like move, boom, delete. Like there's a lot of efficiencies to be gained with them that simply you just can't do. One of the best features of them is actually uh, macros. And again, like I've got another video going into macros, but you can just save so much time, you know, doing like little edits and then going and then like putting quote like i've got a macro here like let's say i got like hi my name is and then i've got a macro that i use pretty often just at w and then it just puts into quotations because usually like i'm editing python and i just want to put like things into a list so this is just a very quick way um but essentially yeah like there's just a lot to be gained with him and that's why it's my favorite editor i use it all the time and to be honest like this is one of the things that I would say devoting your time into it and learning how to get more efficient with it is completely worth it because you will reap the benefits when you're saving a whole bunch of clicks when you can do something or especially macros like if you're like stupid you would like do like so for example like how I did it before you know if you're like really like you don't know about it then you're like okay and then you're just like you keep doing this when you just do it once and then you just Boom. And even like, even that is slow. Like what I can do is four add W and boom, you're done. That's three, it's like three buttons that I pressed and boom. So Vim, the efficiencies to be gained is immense. And it's something that I can't say like, it's one of the best things that I gained from coming to Linux because, you know, learning about, oh, like there's this program called Vim and then using it, it really just improved my efficiency and everything that I do. So the next program is MPV and it's nothing crazy. It's literally just a very minimalist video player, you know, screw having v like you can download VLC, but this is just the best video player. I've, it's literally the most, like it just does what I want it to. And it just, it just works. So for example, we'll play just a random video that I've uploaded. And I think this is my re seven reasons why I switched from windows to Linux. And 
essentially like it just it works you know if you it's clean like it doesn't have look, the thing i love about these programs there's no border it just has what it you know you need you hover over it you can skip you can increase the speed just you know very quickly because usually i watch everything on two times speed like that's just how i like to watch stuff so you can watch movies or like your own videos uh two times speed like again there there isn't much to go over i'm sure you know what? i'm sure that this also has like a whole bunch of stuff you can do with it but i just love this just simply fanboy of mpv and it's just it's just good it really is just good you also have uh if you got like actual like movies and stuff you can have like the subtitles on top of it and then swap subtitles like during it and stuff like so you can there's a lot of things you can do with it and i've seen people that use mpv to learn languages so and i think you can like extend it and all that so again just it's a good program there's there's nothing else to say it's just a good program next one is one of my favorite programs honestly this program i'm like oh, like <laughs> it's just amazing zathura so zathura is essentially a, a pdf reader a pdf reader so if we just open up you know pdfs and we'll go to we'll go to latin and we'll just open up a we'll open yeah this one essentially it's just a pdf reader and it's just quick like do you see like i just clicked it and it just opened so you just open it and boom like you just got all the it, it's like again there's nothing else to ask for like it just it opens it up and it just you see it um you can put it into dark mode like reverse it, and it will just make everything black and white but like you know inverse the colors so it's good if you're reading at night and um i think you can do some other stuff yeah you can like duplicate it or so it's like double-sided if that's what you like and um you know with d I'm trying to think what else rotate it because sometimes I i've had this where in my textbook it'll have like some image but it's on the side so you just you know rotate it oh okay now i can read it or whatever so yeah again <laughs> A lot of these programs, I just use like what I need to use it for. So this program has like a whole bunch of other stuff that you can also do with it. But yeah, it's just, it's light. I think one of the biggest things like compared to like Adobe Reader, Adobe Reader, you just, you open it and it takes like five, 10 seconds. I remember I was showing my dad like, um, you know, Linux and I'm like, dad, okay, have you ever opened up a PDF and just like, just boom. And it just opens up that quickly. Like, I don't think so. You really can't ask for a better PDF reader than Zathura. It's light, it's quick. What else can you ask for? Last but not least, Fe. So Fe is essentially just a image viewer. So like we have one of my wallpapers here. And again, just it, all of this, just lightweight. You just use essentially like the mouse and keyboard or you use the keyboard only and you can just view images. It really is as simple as that. Uh, again, all of these programs have like a whole bunch of stuff and like functionality that you can do that I'm not even aware of because you, you look up the manual pages of Fe and then there's all this stuff like i just i don't really care that much but i know you know typically like you can view like okay what image this is or oh, image nine of whatever or can i you know you can zoom in and then just like everything like again like just everything that you imagine you want to do you can you can also edit now i'm not gonna yeah i don't want to like edit it because i don't it's not something i usually do but you can like rotate the image or like flip it or stuff like that so just removes the need to use like GIMP or something else like that. But another and another great thing about Fet is I literally use it to set my wallpaper. Like if we open up my script, dot scripts and uh, it's called wallpaper. And essentially, it's just you select. Let me zoom in. You select the you know wallpaper that you want, and then it just uses Fet background fill, and then it just fills it up. So essentially, if I select let's say crucifixion, then it's going to have this wallpaper just set and boom. And alongside that, there should be a fair background script that just automatically runs after you choose a script. So, or after you choose a wallpaper, should I say? So because I just updated this wallpaper, the script up updates to like auto load this wallpaper. So each time that you set a new wallpaper, it will just be loaded. So yeah, there's, again, nothing else you can really ask for, in my opinion. It just just works, lightweight, and it's beautiful. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this like little quick video. These are my must-have programs. If you have some programs that you think I should have mentioned, then please leave a comment down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Please like, subscribe, comment. Helps me out, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.